Hey, what is going on? I'm David from Tech and Road, and in this video, I'll show you how to unbreak your Loico LE2. So, to begin with, you need a working PC and a not working Loico LE2 or a bricked Loico LE2 and a USB Type C cable. And you also need to download two zip files the Flash One application zip file and the Sparse Images zip file. I'll leave a link to both the zip files in the description below, so make sure that you download them. So, once you've done that, extract the Flash One zip file and you'll get a Flash One folder like this. Now open the folder and run the main.exe file and now this should start the flash run program now what you got to do is get back to your brick layer 2 and hold the volume up and down buttons together and connect it to your pc and once connected uh, once you have connected it to your pc leave the volume buttons so once again i'm going to tell you clearly hold the volume up and down button together connect it to your pc and let go of the buttons now your smartphone should indicate that it is in qualcomm recovery mode by by a, by the led light in the um, led indicator blinking in uh, orange or reddish color and your windows pc must also show that it is installing qualcomm drivers so once it all happens perfectly your fla the flash run application your device must show up as com3 and now make sure that the option first option is at qualcomm dead phone and now we need to select the downloaded zip file and now hit the flash button so now your low 2 will be brought back to life because this uh, right now the application is actually flashing a working operating system back again on your dead phone so once this process is done your loto will be back to life but of course i'm not completing this process because my device is working just fine my device is not bricked so i'm i'm not completing this process but once your device uh, completes the installation process unplug it from your PC and turn it on and as soon as your device is powered on go into settings and do a factory reset and you'll uh, end up in a pretty old UI version maybe UI 5.8 or 13 or 14 you need to uh, update the UI version to the latest manually by yourself so that's pretty much it for this video guys if you like this video the like button for more videos hit the subscribe button and follow us on twitter at dragon 2 droid to stay updated with the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya